What's going on guys? This is going to be a quick cheese video about mask into egg. Now, the first thing you need to know is that you need to have obviously both mask and egg in your roll. What you want to do is going to build either the mask here and here, or two masks bottom top. Have the one on the right half split down and upgraded. If you get a snail on one, you leak hard. So, keep this in mind. It's cheese for a reason. It doesn't always work. Snail on one, I'm pretty sure you leak pretty bad here. Um, it's still doable to get the egg out, as if they snail you on two, you do not leak. Um, so there is some saving grace, but keep this in mind. Because of this wave being really long and you leaking really hard, um, you're going to be in kind of an awkward position. If you get a snail on one, though, you will hold a snail on two. So we'll show that. You get, a, you get a snail on two. You will hold it. So keep that in mind. Snail one, you're fine. You're gonna leak. Snail two, you're fine. So if they snail you one, still go for the egg. You'll still hold it. Um, at that point, you're actually almost better off because they can't brute you and they can't do anything more than like a 80 send realistically on four. Uh, depending on how long the waves are, obviously. After you get a potential snail, the thing you have to keep in mind is on wave 2, if they send you a DT or a lizard, you will leak really hard on 2. Again, there is a way to fix that, and it's to add another mask, either on your left side or your right side. It does make it so you get enough damage to hold. That being said, if you place an extra mask and they don't send on two, you will leak the egg on three if they brood it. Because you have to then sell two masks to get enough to get the egg down. So, it makes sense to just gamble. If you're going to go for the cheese for the egg, gamble it and go for the, uh, the full hold on three instead. Again, if they send you a turtle or a lizard here, uh, you will hold a 40 resend with your egg on three. So, not the worst thing in the world to just give them, give up the leak and go from there. You can see a lot of units get really low. So, you have RNG to be able to kill like two, three more units here. Uh, you still should have enough though, using the cell of a single mask to get a egg on three. Being that it's cheese, you go for the egg here on three. You'll get a couple split aggro with the false maiden. You can go Zerker, uh, excuse me, Brute here, and you will still hold. And the majority of people back in the day knew you were going Egg 3, and that's why people uh, tried to break you early, right? You're not building, so they know they're trying to punish you early. This should hold, though, as we tested here just a moment ago. As you're te keeping a couple units aggroed on the right-hand side, it helps to make it so that the Egg does not take as much damage. It does get close, which is scary, but it should hold. See, it holds. Now to keep in mind, if you don't get a send on three, what you can do then is you'll be pretty close. I think it's like 112 or 110 gold is what you end up with if you don't get a send on one, two, or three with this setup. You can then sell a single mask and make this into a Hellraiser on the right-hand side. You have to sell the mask, and then they can send you... Well, I'm going to have to redo this one here. They can send you a Hermit, and you can basically hold still to a Hermit or anything else. It gets close with the Hermit, but it's still a hold, nonetheless. And by close, I mean less close than the uh, Brute does, but... You know, kind of, kind of take what you can get there. If they have enough to send you a imp, you will leak. But um, it's an easy cheese to get a free egg out. Uh, like the reasons why I don't recommend this start for new players, quite literally, is that you're going to be super behind in workers, in income, in about every way possible. But there is a saving grace. You have an egg now that should be full stacks. 
which is going to be extremely strong early game and help you transition into your mid game. And you can push the ever living fuck out of workers until realistically wave seven and eight. The beauty is you have a hell raising mask now on five, seven, nine. So you only have to really worry about eight. And even then eight's still not that big of a deal. It's a cheese start. I don't recommend it necessarily, but uh, if you can get away with this in low elo, you're going to be a lot more ahead in in overall value and worker push than most other people in your elo brackets. Um, that's kind of it though. Cheesy video. If you like this type of content, give me a like, subscribe to my channel, uh, and, and comment more videos you'd like to see in the future. Peace.